Ready. Alright, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he landed the right hand there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Beautiful body kick. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Slips. Nice leg kick lands. Just over three minutes to go. Dig and kick. with that punch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Right on the button. Sneaky head kick. Well, missed on that one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Right hand on point. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Trying to double up on that jab. He landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Watch knees to the body. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Now connects with the right. Ooh, what a head kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice punch there. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Nice head kick. 
trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Second round, straight ahead. All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed, scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. The opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-twos. Way to hide that leg kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Leg kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Going for the leg kick, nothing doing there. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big head kick land. Nice straight right lands. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Punch over the top. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Left hook counter there yet again. Right punches there. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Right hook to the head, blocked. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Big kick land. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very short. Able to check the high kick. Just out of range with that right hook. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Block that kick to the body. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful kick. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet.
Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it that at the right time. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. And he caught the kick. Ooh, what a punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting. Bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh -huh. that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He's going after the head. Punch is blocked. Well timed knee to the body. Oh, big head kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Straight right hand now just misses. Spinning back fist. Beautiful hand skills here. The right, then the left. Whiffs on that offering. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Big kick land. 
for the inside leg kick. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. It's such a fast leg kick. Head kick, that's a miss. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. These two fighters. Oh, thunderous legs. His opponent limped it a little bit, tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Oh, big punch land. Kick to the body by Lee. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? There's the kick. It's blocked. Big body kick. Big leg kick lands. Under three minutes now to go on the round. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Uppercut attempt nearly connects, but no good. What a punch. Big body kick lands. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Oh, big left hook there. to the jab now, no good. Nice strike. He lands the head kick. Under two minutes to go. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Did. Nice combination of strikes there by Lee. Back to the body shots now, that one. Point. Split 
Hits the guard, lands the right hand. Well, as my favorite rack group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Uh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Nice leg kick. Oh, nice. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh! Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Can't take many of those, you better check. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Blocks the shot. Look at him with his hip to that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh! Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Big head kick lands. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Nice kick. Oh. And he comes through with a big knee. job by him there to raise the guard DC and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the booth. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get him. Get him. Well play shot there, DC. He is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Nice kick. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Let me see those kicks. Oh, head kick. Big kick lands. Switching stances here. Ooh, blocks the shot. 
90 seconds to go in the fight. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Got clip with the right hand. He's got to go change that finish down now. One minute to go in the fight. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Big punch lands through the middle. Big leg kick lands. Keep pushing, keep pushing. 30 seconds to go in this one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. Out of range with that kick attempt. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision.